Hi, Lace here. Welcome back to another Genshin Impact video. Today we're going to be talking about Elemental Crucible, a new co-op event starting in about five hours for me. Just wanted to go through some key points to make sure that everyone's aware of it. Number one, it's telling you that you have to consume original resin to receive the bounties, but as with all of the other quests in the battle pass, this is just to receive the actual rewards. So you can actually clear the event without spending a single drop of resin. For example, according to the Alchemy Handbook, you need to just uh, finish 20 transmutations at Elemental Crucible. That does not mean that you have to loot it, it just means that you have to finish it. The second thing is the actual rewards, so character exp, adventure exp, and more. Assuming it's the same as CBT, you're going to be using 20 resin to loot it, and you'll be receiving 100 adventure rank exp, which is the standard conversion. So what matters is actually the character exp materials that you get. And so it says that the rewards are actually scaled on each traveler's individual world level. So you can't just hop into someone else's higher, well, you can't even do that anyway, higher world level and try to get better rewards. So let's talk about efficiency because I'm all about that. Efficiency, right? So currently for EXP Ley Lines, uh, I'm at a world level 4. I get 6 to 7 of the blue grade and 2 to 3 of the purple grade adventure e character EXP for every Ley Line I loot. From CBT, if I'm right, you might get a little bit more of the blue and purple grade materials, but since the event isn't out yet, I can't say for sure. So how you can tell is just, just look at the damn event, right? If what you're getting from the Elemental Crucible is better than six to seven blues and two to three purples, then it's efficient. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you should still loot it. I'm actually still on the fence about looting it. I have better things to do with my resin, like weapon ascensions and talents and the list goes on. But if you are in the market for character EXP, this could be a good thing for you. Again, assuming that it's similar to CBT, the Adventure Handbook will give us about two rolls worth of Primo Gems and a bunch of other materials. Last point is, this is a co-op event, right? So if you don't have any friends, I can relate, but not really. If you're looking for people to play with for co-op, I'd probably just recommend looking for people in the Genshin Impact official Discord. It's probably gonna be a mega thread on the Reddit. Also, worst case scenario, they actually have a matching system, so you'll be, you'll be fine. Don't, do not even worry about it. One last thing, it only lasts a week, so get on it, boys. Though I'm sure you can clear it in a day. I mean, I will probably clear it in a day. But yeah, final thoughts. Uh, it's cool that they're putting together a co-op event. I quite like co-op. It makes the game a lot more fun. But as for the rewards themselves, obviously clear out the journal, but it seems a bit lackluster, especially if the rewards are gonna be very similar to the ley lines anyway. It's like they're actually baiting us into doing ley lines.